Hi, I'm Gabrielle Cannon with Uprox Reports. We're here at the USDA lab where they've partnered with a San Francisco-based company to make the beer industry better. Let's go in and see how we can have our beer and eat it too. So the light bulb moment for Regrain came from this hobby for brewing beer. And every time I made beer, I was left with all this grain. My now business partner, Jordan, who we grew up together, and as I was progressively getting more and more into beer, he was progressively getting more and more into food, and kind of this light bulb went off that, hey, like, I've got this byproduct, it's edible. Jordan can probably be the one to make it delicious, and we can like build this sustainable enterprise together. We have two flavors right now currently. We have a honey cinnamon IPA and a chocolate coffee stout. The honey cinnamon IPA is a little bit sweeter. The chocolate coffee is a, a great breakfast bar, and if you're a chocolate lover, that's usually your pick. Regrain is now in a co-research and development agreement with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which is a sentence that I never would think that I would say. I believe what happened with Regrain is they actually found us, and it fit very well in our research program because we're very interested in finding new value-added uses for food waste products. It's estimated about 1.3 billion tons of food waste generated every year globally, and brewers spent grains are, are one of those materials that really can be used used in healthy foods, but currently aren't. The conversation has gone from how might we just be a granola bar company to achieving our bigger vision of how can we create this new category of food that's using this grain from the beer brewing process. The world of applications is, is so huge and so vast that we're just scraping the surface. If you take it one step further than we have it in our bar and you mill it into a flour, it can be used in pretty much any baked good. What will come next through the technologies that we're developing are a whole plethora of new food ingredients that have greater value and come from ways. We have a, an opportunity here to make a really big impact on this ingredient stream that we use and hopefully on the entrepreneurial community as a whole to be one of the leaders in the food waste movement. By turning the food we don't eat into the food we can eat, researchers and producers are coming together to tackle this issue and build a better future for us all. For more information about this initiative, you can visit uprocks.com.